This educational video is for promoting active learning of polymer diffraction. What is polymer crystallinity? The crystallinity of a polymer refers to the degree as to which there are regions where the polymer chains are aligned with one another. If you see this structure the regular line represents the crystalline phase and irregular is the non-crystalline phase. When we increase the crystalline phase, your polymer will become more brittle, which increases its mechanical strength modulus but reduces its toughness. It also increases its chemical resistance and melting temperature because with increase in regularity it will be hard for any solvent to diffuse in it. It will also be hard for heat to break all the bonds which will increase the melting temperature. What is the difference between amorphous and semi-crystalline? The most considerable difference between amorphous and semi-crystalline polymers is in the molecular structure. Amorphous polymers are a type of polymer that has a seemingly random and coiled molecular structure while semi-crystalline polymers are a type of compound with a highly ordered molecular structure. The difference in molecular structure provides unique advantages for both. For example, amorphous polymers are transparent, experience no to low amounts of shrinkage, and offer superior low temperature performance, high impact and bond well to substrates. On the opposite side, semi-crystalline polymers showcase improved chemical and heat resistance, plus they provide superior performance against wear. What affects the degree of crystallinity in polymers? First, it is the polymer structure and nature of functional group. Crystallinity in polymers is governed by the extent of chain ordering, or chain folding. If the side groups of the polymer backbone are large and heavy, chain movement and folding is hindered, which reduces the probability of forming crystalline domains. Secondly, the arrangement may be one of the factor as well. Chains, or side groups, that are arranged in an ordered manner can pack together more efficiently which leads to increased crystallinity. For instance, atactic does not show crystallinity, while syndiotactic and isotactic show crystallinity. Thirdly, secondary bonding is also one of the factor. We have the both inter- and intramolecular hydrogen bonding play important roles in polymer crystallinity. With increased chain-to-chain -chain secondary bonding, there is an increase in the degree of crystallinity of the polymer. What is the formula to calculate the degree of crystallinity? Crystallinity from XRD scans is in principle determined simply by drawing an amorphous halo in order to separate the crystalline peaks from the amorphous scattering. And by calculating the ratio of the areas of the crystalline peaks to the total area, which is the ratio of crystalline peaks over the amorphous peak plus crystalline peaks. Now, how do we apply the previous formula, given the area and two theta values, how do you calculate degree of crystallinity of a polymer? First, we have to differentiate between the amorphous and crystallite region. The amorphous region has the largest area, while the other areas will be crystalline areas. By substituting these values into the formula mentioned before this, we can calculate the degree of crystallinity of a polymer.